Friday, August 23, 2024. I decided to start vlogging my life and I felt like I could have done this, you know, on my iPhone or like one of my cameras that's a little bit more high quality and definition, but there's just something about a digital camera from like 2007 that just captures something that you can't get on a brand new digital camera. Well, at least for me. It's been a really long time since I've seen Andy since he moved to LA. Maybe two to three years. Um, and the last time that I saw him in person, we were in LA in my hotel room for a while. And I really did miss Andy. Andy's one of those people that I just feel so comfortable with. It's one of my longest standing friendships that just fulfills me and makes me feel safe. I can literally go anywhere with Andy and I will never feel like I have to worry about a single thing that's going on. You know what I mean? I just enjoy the simplicity of hanging out with him. It's so natural. I don't have to be anyone. I don't have to think about anything. You know, we know each other since we were children running around in the city. He reminds me of the old Selena, the person that I had to outgrow and leave behind. But sometimes it's nice to remember where I come from. And I don't feel above it. I don't resent it. But I do remember it. I remember all the feelings. I remember all the smells. I remember what it was like to like be in a laundromat or like be in a bathroom that isn't like super luxurious and just enjoying it. Like it brings me back to a time of simplicity where I didn't have to think about anything just being a kid and having fun and I think this day was perfectly captured in that way um there are so many things that I do enjoy about New York the real New York at least even though now, maybe as an adult, I'm not too keen on it. I think that, you know, I, I I like certain things. And like I said, hanging with Andy really reminds me of that. I can't remember a time that I sat on a sidewalk. And I just enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Just sat on the sidewalk and didn't worry about what I was wearing. And if it was going to mess up my outfit. Or if I had to go somewhere and somebody was going to see me. Or care what anybody thought. This day was such a level of freedom that I haven't felt in a really, really long time. And just even going to like this Dominican restaurant reminds me of a time where like I used to be with my father a lot my dad loves a restaurant especially a Dominican restaurant he would eat at a Dominican restaurant almost every single day there wasn't a day that my father did not eat at a Dominican restaurant and his favorite restaurant had this one waitress and she was hilarious oh, you hear the sirens I don't know if you guys can hear the sirens. Wow. I haven't felt like it was a New York summer in a really long time. And this day felt like a New York summer. But as I was saying, my father loved the Dominican restaurant. 
I don't know if the food reminded him of home or it was the servitude and the wanting to please him or the you know the the, the woman server coming up and telling him I papi que tu quieres comer like what do you want to eat what do you want let me bring you this plate I don't know if it was the performance of that femininity I don't know if it was the food I don't know if it was a combination of all together but it reminds me of my father every time and I quite enjoy it and there's nothing like sitting at a restaurant and eating your home country's food the empanadas the pernil you know the moro the rice the yellow rice the snapples which I miss the old packaging look who comes into the picture I know this woman for years I know Gika for a really really long time she's always been pretty she understands me. We talk about what it's like to be beautiful all the time. <laughs> I know it sounds vain to some people, but it's so funny because me and her, like, we'll say something and we know exactly what we mean. And it's been a really long time since I've been able to, like, be with Andy and her at the same time. Andy loves makeup he admires the time and effort it takes does he know how to do it on his own absolutely not but there's just something about doing my friend's makeup in a way that accentuates their natural beauty for me that I just really enjoy I like making my friends feel beautiful I really really enjoy that I don't know. Something about that is just so satisfying. And I'm not really the type of person to like show affection with like things that I do for people. It's not one of my love languages. I'm more of a verbal type of person. Like that's how I give love. But sometimes on the rare occasion, I will do an action. And my favorite type of actions to show love is to do something for someone I think it's my own special way of showing them what I think about their beauty and how I always seen them and I really do think my friends are so beautiful it's insane like nobody could tell me otherwise I, I don't feel any other way A deli. Oh, girl, how much I love a deli. There's nothing like a New York City deli. And a sandwich from, oh, a sandwich from the deli. There's nothing like it. I've been in different places and there's absolutely nothing like a deli from New York. And I'm not talking about the modern deli, even though... These smoke shops and these delis are getting really modern, but like a old school deli. Ooh. What are you talking about, Bim? You know what I want, and he knows exactly what you want. The same as usual. Or you wake up early in the, mon in the morning and you ask for like butter roll. You know what I mean? Mmm. A coffee. And you walk to work, which I never walk to work or like really work the actual job <laughs> you know uh, and, but I remember going to school every morning with it I I don't know it's been a really long time since I like did that people dream of coming to the city and I dream of leaving it I feel like New York feels really small to me like a small hometown. And I'm not, I know that sounds insane to people. You know, like, girl, New York City is huge. Like, that, it's really not for me. It's like a box. You know, as much as I love certain aspects of it, I just can't feel the need 
I can't. I I just need to escape. I tell myself, why am I still here? What's keeping me here? And I just think, maybe it's my friends. Maybe it's because I love them so much that I can't imagine a world without them. And I can't imagine myself too far away from people that I admire and love so, so much. This is my life. This is everything to me. <sighs> oh, and this is Nanji. I love her down. <laughs> we linked her late. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.